Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a general check-in for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So I'm a little bit stuffed up if I sound super nasally, um, but I'm not feeling too bad, just congested. So Guardian Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, please protect my vibration at the highest as I channel the message for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the energy that surrounds Aries at this time? Please give me a clear message for the energy that surrounds Aries. So if you are a cross watcher, you're welcome. Just remember to flip or switch the energies. And if you are a member of the collective, thank you so much. I hope this resonates. Please let me know if it, if it does. And if you are new to my channel, please consider becoming a member and subscribing. Spirit, show me the energy that surrounds Aries at this time. And then my budgie bird is super quiet till I start to record every time. Show me the energy that surrounds Aries, please. So 10 of pentacles is prosperity. It's investment. It is fruits of labor. It's about legacy. It's about prophecy. It's about making a lot of money. It's about mastering a craft and making it lucrative in some way after being in a position where you felt like you had to defend yourself so you're moving towards a better investment you're you're moving towards financial prosperity after having been in the position where you needed to defend yourself no longer doing so but i feel there was a connection where you felt like you had to defend yourself for, for who and what you are in that connection, but you're not doing that anymore because you've decided to work towards something that will offer more of a return, something that is a better investment, Aries. Five of Wands, releasing drama, releasing conflict. I like this energy for you. Who wouldn't like this energy? Not feeling defensive anymore. That's a sign that you're healing, Aries, right? Walking away from dramatic people and situations, not being triggered enough to even fight, working on prosperity and depend uh, independence here. Investing. So this is a really very awesome, <laughs> very energy. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm going to have to move that bird. I'm just going to pause for a minute. Sorry about that, guys. I had to move her. She's super loud. So yeah, you're no longer um, feeling defensive. Like it's not even worth arguing, arguing your point of view because you recognize that people only see what they're able to see. Recognizing that it's not worth wasting words on someone that is not willing to... Um, look inward, investing now in your success, investing in your craft, turning something that was bad into something that's very good after learning lessons, Aries. Bottom of the deck energy, the Empress in the reverse, Taurus energy. After being, sorry, I just got a really heavy energy from that. After not being honored and respected for the giver that you are. The Empress in the Upright is, is maternal. It's the Divine Feminine. Take it as it resonates. Okay? So it doesn't have to be a feminine person, but someone that's a giver. Someone that's a nurturer. That was not honored and respected in the right way. And was put under an illusion because of someone's way of being... Because of someone being stuck. Because someone was stuck, they took away their heart. And, and made you, put you in an illusion that that hurt you, that, that was not honorable to you, okay? So take that as it resonates. I'm going to clarify this energy now, Aries. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please clarify the surrounding energy for Aries at this time, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Please clarify the surrounding energy for Aries. I do offer personals if you're interested. I've... Got a few to do, but I am getting caught up. So if you're interested in one of those, I will leave that information in the description box below. Appreciate all the support that I've been getting for my channel. It means a lot to me. It's important work, I feel, to share the message. Clarify this energy spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Any other messages for Aries in regards to their surrounding energy at this time? Anything else, spirit? 
thank you. So heartstrings in the reverse came out. Drama in the reverse came out. Illuminate came out in the reverse and party. Right, Aries? So no longer being strung along. It says get pregnant, so not you are not pregnant. <laughs> or looking to entrap anyone. Or looking to pressure anyone. Or you're not looking to play games with anyone. As well as you're asking for that in return, right? You're... you're confident in yourself enough to let people be who they are and to not be attached to people or things right so that's that is a um that is a result of enlightenment when you learn to not be attached to people or things specifically so not being strung along and not stringing people along but not letting yourself be in that position as well and or or looking to pressure anyone to do anything that they don't want to do trusting in your path trusting in the divine's path for you moving towards prosperity aries it's just a really beautiful energy and you're no longer blocking yourself i'm picking that up from the seven of wands as well possibly you were in a place where you were stuck and that was keeping you stuck from your from from your destiny right from your Ten of Pentacles, your financial stability, your stability in life, your stability in mind, releasing drama, not being toxic, being confident, Aries. So that's in the reverse, right? You're not creating problems or being thirsty for attention or overreacting. You're owning your part in something and, and, not, and setting a boundary to only receive that which you're giving. It's a very beautiful energy, releasing drama. So there we go, five of wands in the reverse is very much that same card, releasing drama. So double verification from the universe, Aries, that you are, you have become enlightened. You should be very proud of yourself. You've learned a lot from this connection where you have, where you once had to defend yourself. And that could even just be a connection in yourself, right? Now investing in your craft and, and finding personal growth and stability. Possibly this person that you are releasing um, kept you stuck and kept you from seeing the truth about yourself and your path. Okay. Someone is holding a secret though. There is a confession in the reverse. So I do feel that you may be letting someone go because they're not being completely honest. They're not really willing to, um, to look inward in some regard. There is someone that is keeping a secret from you. And then party. Maybe you're going to start having some type of celebration due to all of this prosperity, Aries. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something fun to do? Having fun clubbing, risky or fun with friends. So take that as it resonates. I think everyone's level of risk changes based on where they are currently in their human experience. But definitely picking up an energy of celebration here, Aries. And that is the energy that is surrounding you. So that's a very beautiful energy. I'm going to dive in a little bit in regards to the secret someone's keeping from you. I'm going to use the OG deck for this one. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides. There was an energy of someone holding back from Aries. Can you please clarify this energy of holding back or who is holding back from Aries. Can you please give me some energy on this person that is holding back from Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, the high priestess in the reverse. So someone that you're not in communication with at this time is holding back, holding back communication, possibly not being honest, right? High priestess in the reverse as well is a card of not being honest or, or being in some type of an illusion, possibly a manipulation type energy, right? Someone is being very immature in regards to a love connection. Someone's possibly younger than you, Aries, who, who is loving you, but is not honoring you in the soul connection that they should. And there's going to, be, there is bad news coming in regards to releasing of a collaboration where you don't see, feel seen or heard at this time because it's chaotic and it's causing, um, it's causing 
uh, oh, 10 of cups in the reverse, right? So it's causing a lot of dysfunction. It's causing a lot of chaos. It's a very ungrounded energy in regards to a family situation. So very chaotic energy. So that's very much the same as the two of pentacles in the reverse. Hopefully you can see all of this. So this person that you're, you are connecting with is holding back from you the fact that they're experiencing happiness or chaos at this time. They don't feel seen in regards to some type of a collaboration. So they're walking away. There is bad news in regards to a soulmate connection where there was love, but it was not able to completely flourish and grow past the page of cups. Possibly you will be getting a message from someone, someone who is younger than you. And it doesn't look like good news, but I don't think... I don't think that's going to impact you too much, Aries, based on that first spread, right? There is there is the Ten of Pentacles in the upright around you. There is a lot of positive energy. So possibly this is a past person that you have released, okay? That you are not in communication with at this time, who is not dealing with their judgment or not realizing the repercussions of their decision, the judgment in the reverse, right? The judgment in the upright is about a decision. So when it's in the reverse, it's not realizing the ramifications or the outcomes of that uh, decision because this person is stuck. So I'm picking up this person that you're not in communication with. Aries is definitely stuck. There was an imbalance in a family situation. There was uh, disharmony in a family situation because of chaotic energy where, where you had to release this person. Okay. Now investing, working towards something else. But this past person, yeah, this is definitely past energy. You're seeing things clearly in that regard, looking to start on a new journey. Aries energy, right? Embarking upon a new journey, seeing things clearly about a past connection where there is no, no stability. So you're working towards other things, possibly working towards your 10 of pentacles in the um, energy that surrounds you. Okay. I'm going to clarify this person now. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please clarify this energy for the um, person that's connecting to Aries that's holding back in some way. Please clarify this person who is holding back from Aries, who is stuck at this time. Please clarify this person that's energetically st stuck and, and in not in communication with Aries. Thank you. Secrets in the reverse. Love affair. So possibly the end of a love affair. Keeping things inside not opening up an illusion. So someone may be putting this connection in an illusion, not wanting to open up, but needing to open up, releasing a love connection. So Gemini in the reverse, the lovers, right? A choice between two, needing to make a decision between two. And then get away in the reverse, go on vacation, begin an adventure, run away together. So not taking a vacation or beginning a new adventure. So letting go is the energy that I'm picking up in regards to this page of cups. Someone that was not able to match the divine feminine with the emperor, right? Someone that came up as only a page. So someone that is not fully open to love because they're feeling stuck and not realizing the, the outcome of their decisions, possibly avoiding some karma that's going to be coming. Okay, we all get karma. No one can avoid karma. So be you reap you reap what you sow, right? And that's good too. Karma is not always bad. And sometimes it helps clear out stuck energy. So that is a really cool reading for you, Aries. I'm feeling like pulling Angel. Angel answers. Just because I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> and whispers of healing is gonna require me to read and I'm I'm done. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please clarify this final message for Aries in regards to the energy that we read in this reading, that we picked up in this reading. Please clarify with a final message for Aries. No. No. Meditation always brings answers. 
So I get a message of don't get stuck in your head in regards to something that um, you don't have control of to trust, right? And when you start to get anxiety and and if you're starting to feel like anxious in regards to situations that you may be involved in, focus on your breath, meditate, be, be at one with your soul and spirit, ground yourself and meditate. And that is going to help calm you and as well as going to bring clarity in regards to situations, okay? So hopefully this resonated with you, Aries. There's some good energy. There's some prosperity surrounding you in this in the near future. Thank you so much. If you got to the end of this video, please let me know if this resonates or comment, subscribe, do your thing, Aries. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bye.